oh man do I got a story to tell you guys we we almost got an accident today me and my friends we almost crashed into a car motherfucker here's the intro All right, all right, you, get, you guys listen? Y'all listen to this shit? All right, so it was lunchtime, right, on a Friday, you know, we getting our Friday groove on, you know? No, it's just really gay. Okay, it's freaking, like, lunchtime, getting our groove on. Yeah, who says groove anymore? Getting my groove on? That's some old-style shit. That's some granny shit that would say that. Okay, anyway, my grandma might say that to me. You get your groove on tonight with those bitches? Yeah, that's right, my grandma would say that. Okay, so anyways, uh, back to the story of this, uh, this accident that almost happened. Um... Well, I kind of gave it away. It, it almost really did happen. Uh, so, this random crazy whore, man. I swear to God, she was a whore. She, uh, my friends were going straight down the road. Um, we were just talking, so my friends kind of looking at us, looking at the road at the same time. Out of nowhere, this random bitch pulls to the right. And, like, we're going straight. And she pulls into our lane, which is a fucking retard, right? Not only does she do that shit, but she's also a fucking retard. And she, uh... She slows down completely and she stops. She sees us driving 60 kilometers an hour, straight in the exactly same lane. She switches into our lane and she just stops. She doesn't even keep going and like try to make sure we don't hit her, but she just stops to go, oh, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. So then my friend just, like, we all turn around and go, look, look, look. So he, he breaks, he goes to the next lane, he's hon he's holding out his honker. Can't sound good. He's holding out his honker. He's honking like crazy, right? And um, so. As we pass her, right, we go to the stop sign right ahead, right? And then she pulls up, like, she was honking from behind us. We're just looking back going, like, did she just honk at us? Like, what? what is she, drunk? So she pulls up beside us, and she pulls out her window, and she's like, you fucking crazy bitches, you didn't have to be so rude about it. We're just sitting there going, what? Like, I want to get out of this car. Open up your fucking door and slap you in the face with my cock so bad right now. But yeah, what a... What a dumb, like, she's 30, 40 years old, guys, and I'm, I'm not talking about a teenager, I'm talking about, like, a mother. Like, like, her pussy is so fucking loose, she's probably a whore, too, on the side, that's her nighttime job. But this crazy bitch just fucking pulls over and calls us assholes for honking at her, because she almost killed us, and herself. I hope she dies instead of us, I don't want my friends to die. Right now, that dumb bitch died, she, tried, she almost killed us. The sad part is that there was no car behind us the whole time. Like, you could have just waited for us to go, and then you go. Like, I don't know what the hell your hurry was. Like, I don't know if your next appointment with your next guy is, like, in two minutes, but that's your fault if you're almost late, okay? He'll just have half the hour off, you know, like, 50% off the hour. Stupid whore. So, um, so, yeah, so she pulled into the right lane, and it was a stop sign, and you could only go left, or you could only turn right or go straight. She had to go straight, and we went straight, so we pulled up. Like, we were just shit-talking her, and then we just drove off. Like, whatever. I'm not going to get into this conversation with this dumb bitch. So, we start, um, we notice that she's behind us again, right? I guess she was actually supposed to be, put my cannon. Um, she was going that way as well, right? She just kind of pulled over beside us just to randomly say, That was so rude. You didn't have to be rude about it. Like, I know, I, like, I, know I messed up. I, yeah, you almost killed yourself and us, you fucker. You don't almost mess up in that way. So, um, now she's right behind us, right? We're going down the road, and we're going like 10 kilometers an hour just to piss her off, because we knew that there's something, she probably had work, or she's probably on lunch break, right? I mean, for the price of being late to her work, I don't really give a shit about with the price of, like, almost killing teenagers or some shit. Okay, I don't want to say killing, as in, like, I'm not trying to bring no crazy shit. I'm just seeing, like, a car crash. Like, both cars have been fucking towed, man. Those cars are gone if we hit each other, because, like, she pulled in and stopped, and we were going, like, 60, 70 kilometers an hour. Given the road was only 50 kilometers an hour. Well, but nah, it's probably, no, it's 60. I think we were going 70, so. And that's quite a bit of speed to be hitting a non moving car, uh, just, you know, chilling there. So that's quite bad. So, anyway, this, this was a long ass road, so the whole time we just went. And there was no cars behind us. We kept looking to make sure we weren't pissing off other people. It was just her behind us for like. 10 minutes and we were just going towards subway and we were just going so slow and she was so pissed oh it was awesome i loved it anyways um next topic uh, that that was just a, some fucked up topic i just want to tell you guys because it was and it's kind of weird because my friend told his mom about it like th that day and the next day he comes to us and he's just like boy well, he told us over the over skype and whatnot he's just like my mom said it would have been my fault because we hit her i'm just like no there's there's no way that would have been our fault i wish i was recording that or some shit because that, oh, that's another funny thing. I randomly pulled out my uh, my phone and pretended like I was recording her from behind us. I was just waving at her saying hello and just like holding my camera there just to see if she would like, I don't know, it was kind of funny. Anyways, um, I'm going to skip the next topic. So, 
The next topic is, I have so many people inbox me every single day about, is this you? Is this where you live? Is this your name? Is this your school? Coming yesterday was actually the first time someone has ever guessed every single one of those correctly. He, uh, he goes to a school that I faced before in football and rugby, I'm pretty sure. Um, and he's like, hey, dude, like, I think I know you. Like, is, is this you? And he said my first and last name. I was just like, yeah, that that is. Um, but he's like, you know, I'll keep it a secret. Like, I'm not a dick. But, yeah, I, mean, I, I honestly don't care if people know, like, my name and stuff. But, like, it just gets to the point where it's, like, it's RuneScape subscribers. They will try to fuck you over in some type of way. They've done it to Zarfod. They've done it to River Spar. They've done it to a lot of people. And there's no need for me to get into that shit. Which sucks, because if I had, like, a... Let's just say I made real-life vlogs, and I told you guys my first and last name. You guys wouldn't do shit, right? Well, that type of subscribers. They wouldn't do anything, right? They'd be like, cool. We know his name. He's awesome, right? We all know who Jesse Wellens is, right? Boyfriend versus girlfriend. Gina, right? We know who their names are. No one really stalks them in that type of way. But, no, then you got the RuneScape subscribers that are really immature and love to stalk people and stuff like that. Hack people and whatnot. And then they just, they react when they find something out about you that's kind of personal, I guess. I don't know. It's really immature, and I don't know why people really do it. It's just a stupid waste of time. And plus, you know, if people really wanted to go further, you, we could um, contact the, uh, the police, basically, because that is invasion of privacy if they like to leak it or something. But anyways, that's a different story. It's kind of like abuse, or, yeah, it is kind of. But I want to touch up on a different uh, topic. Um, uh, this Wednesday, which was quite a while ago, it was like two or three, no, today's Friday, so two, yeah, Two days ago? I don't know. Whatever. Um, right now, it's Friday night. I'm making this video for hopefully Saturday. Maybe Sunday. I have to check how many videos I, I have. I think I have one more scheduled, so I might this might be up on Saturday. I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, so on Wednesday, um, every single school around where I, where I am, uh, they didn't have any practice. Um, as I told you guys before, the, like the teachers or something like that were wanting money for coaching. Um, it was something around the lines of that. The teachers union... Um, they thought that they should get paid, the coaches should get paid for coaching. Um, the teachers don't really even care about it. Like, my, I asked my coaches, I'm just like, do you care that you don't get paid for coaching? You, you enjoy it, right? He's like, yeah, I don't give a shit if I don't get paid. You know, because teachers here make good enough money to live off of, you know, a nice happy life. They make around six, eight, 60, they start at 40, they get up to 80, and then the auto teachers make about 100, um, the, you know, auto and stuff like that. Um, and I know that for a fact because they, they told me they're like yeah man I'm, I'm, I'm an auto teacher I love making my hundred grand a year doing almost nothing but yeah I figured out that it's actually the teachers union that are on strike kind of against the uh, I guess the government because it was possible that teachers might be losing their pensions um, which is something that really sucks I'm not sure if every country has this I'm pretty sure it doesn't but Canada has a pension plan where if you retire at the age of 63 I think it is or 62 it keeps changing I think a few years um, I think it used to be 60 but I'm not I think it's 63 now or something like that um, and what a pension is, is whenever you, for all those years that you worked, you basically get back all the money that you got taxed and a lot more. Like right now, let's just say your mom makes like, is that the same bought No, okay. You guys know like level 55 guy always bought in these things? Yeah, anyways, um, can't wait for that bot judgment bullshit day. So anyways, every time I say bot judgment, it, it reminds me of uh, Terminator 2, the, uh, what is it, term, the bot, the judgment day? I don't know what it's called. Oh, Renaros, nice. Um. 100, 150? Nice. What was I saying? So, uh, teachers on. I just lost my whole freaking train of thought. Um, oh, teachers make my. Okay, well, anyways, yeah, teachers union. Um, yeah, okay, uh, what's the. Put, what's the word? Pension. There we go. Pension. I had the positives to remember. Um, so, yeah, they could. It, it's probably a good few hundred thousand dollars, um, by my guess. Um, so, I know, like, let's just say if your mom makes like two or three grand a month. When they retire, they will make around 1500 a month um, from just their pension, which means they don't do anything. They just get that back from the government because, you know, they retired, and uh, it's kind of like the way it works here in Canada. I'm not sure if it's like that in every country um, or how much they get back, but I know here in Canada it's quite awesome. Um, so that's, I guess, one awesome thing about Canada as well. Every time I talk about, like, countries and shit, people, like, have something against me. Like, like it's like I have something against the country. I have nothing against any country. Like, people, like, anytime I talk about something in a negative way, they're like, oh, you hate my country? You disrespect my country? I dis I disrespect you now, and I unsubscribe? It's like, what the fuck? Like, not every, no country is fucking perfect, man. And for you to even think your country is, you just have something up your ass. Every country has their own flaws in some way. But yeah, um, our te it's kind of scary, because I, I asked my, my coaches, whatever, like, our team asked them, we're just like, you know, like, does this mean, like, every Wednesday we don't have practice? Or, like, what's going on? 
Um, apparently, football season, if, if this strike does go through, uh, which I don't think it will, my teachers don't think it will either, my coaches at least, uh, if it does go through, football season might only last a month instead of like two or three um, because I think all seasons might be done if this strike goes through, I guess. I don't really know. Fucking teachers union, I swear to God. But it's kind of cool they're fighting for their pensions, but I mean, it's the same time. It's just like, what the fuck, man? Like, you're going to fucking, like, shut down the schools, basically. Woohoo, that's awesome, yeah. Go, strike, go. Anyways, one last thing to say. I have failed myself, okay? I have failed my. I told myself I'd go to the gym every single day, including doing uh, football still. I went twice this week in the past five days. Like, the past five days of school, I went twice. Uh, it's because Wednesday I didn't have practice, and I went today because it's Friday, and it's, it was a nice day, and I know, you know, if I burn myself out, it's okay because I had two days to relax. Although I think this Saturday or Sunday I might actually work out, just because I'm not used to working out three times a week. That shit, it feels so little, but yeah, I might I might go Saturday or Sunday. Saturday closes at 6, so maybe not on Saturday, but Sunday is nice. Sundays it's empty. I love it. It's, it's so empty on Sundays. The whole day, you go around 7 o'clock, it's empty, man. There's nobody there. It's fucking awesome. You can just, you know, I hate waiting for machine. That's the worst part about the gym I have. But at the same time, I still love my gym. But anyways, um, so I will see you guys, uh, I guess, next video. That's all I have to say for today. Um, next video, I'm going to talk about, you get, you guys might, okay, I'm going to just show you guys the thumbnail for the next video. All you big dick subscribers that watch 11, 12 minutes of this video are going to see a little bit of what's going to happen next video. Here it is. There you guys go. That's going to be the thumbnail. Do you, what the fuck are those? Oh, Jagex, you guys are awesome.